Okay, guys, this is insane. Sam just caught a tank. Holy cow. Wait till you see this fish. What's up, YouTube? Good morning. What's up? <laughs> Sam, you guys, he actually invited me out here to his own little private pond, and it's over yonder. He's pulling out some giants out of this thing, guys. So first things first, I'm uh, shoeless. <laughs> he told me that it gets all wet and crazy from all the dew, and so taller grass, he actually stopped at Walmart and grabbed me some Walmart at Walmart. He stopped at Walmart and grabbed some boots for me. Would you believe that? Really, they're for him, but he's letting me use this pair this morning, so I cannot be more thankful to meet with a genuine young dude like this, and we are gonna get out here and slay some monsters if we, uh, if luck is on our side today. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the goods, strap them with the GoPro, and we'll get things rocking and rolling, y'all. Right, I got you. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay. Is that a fish? I got a little something. We got a little crappie, didn't we? <laughs> First one of the day, y'all. On the lipless. No way. I've been wondering, like, how is how is top water at this place? I bet. Could you imagine? Oh, nose dive. He going. Got one. Oh, it's decent. Oh. Oh, wow. Come here. Uh, <laughs> she's bank clipped that sucker. <laughs> First one out of this pond. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Could be a healthy four man. Let's get this uh, scale out real quick. Four and a half pounder, first fish. It was 4.51. 4.51, y'all. First fish in the morning. Get you some. Dude, we gotta thank Sam for putting us on the spot. Bring it in. I cannot believe you flipped that in. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I flipped it in. I'm, I wasn't stressing, you know. Uh, yeah, 30 pound braid. Strong faith in the braid, y'all. And oh, we just scared a decent one out. Guys, we gotta get back in the water. Major thanks to Sam. Dude, he ran over and just grabbed that camera. He turned it on record. I didn't even know he was rolling before I brought that fish in, man. So kudos. Let's get back over here, though. I think they're hanging out on the point. Let me let me show y'all where they're hanging out. Kind of on this edge of this little island out here in the middle. Check this out. Here's what we're throwing. It's that shad and chartreuse chatterbait. I'm pretty sure this is just a Z, man. We got the gold blade up front, and that's good because this water is like you can barely see a dang thing. And then I think this is a four-inch Exo Swim trailer. So. Uh, Y'all know what we're throwing, 30 pound braid. It's white in color, but they can't see squat, except for this big old chatter bait in the water because uh, of the clarity. So, try and get us a couple more. No. <laughs> oh, this feels so much different. The, the, the rod's definitely just like lighter. Yeah, everyone's ratings are different. Seven foot heavy, fast action, Dobbins, sweet. That's a medium heavy. See what I'm saying? It's just different, it's different. Have you thrown the crack and crawl? It's flippers go crazy. You should, you should just chunk it, and, chunk it and swim it. No way, no. Oh, no way. Oh, thought we had another bite. That's a. I'm getting in the sticks now. Well, there goes the chatterbait. 20 minutes later, <laughs> retied. Chatterbait's looking a little different. This one's solid white. 
got a silver blade on this one, and then the swim bait's a Kitek 4.3 inch swim bait. And we'll see what happens. If we lose it, we're not too attached to this one. <laughs> Are you stuck? Dude, that thing is decent size. Yeek. First one of the day on the lipless. <laughs> All right, quick update. We made it over here to one of the favorite regions, and uh, this spot produces some giant crappie as well as bass. As you've seen, I just lost my chatterbait, and I'm gonna see what else we got in the box here. I might throw a lipless as well. Oh no! That was like the fourth break off right here for Sam, dude. He's been getting unlucky. He's got fish on the hook, and they keep coming off. Holy smokes! <laughs> yeah. Okay, right by my feet. Oh, <laughs> no way. Wow. Oh yeah, that was a bass. Yeah, it was a bass. Right here. I haven't used this yet, but I've got two of them, I believe, from these MTB boxes. Um, not duplicates, but I get two boxes a month, so. All right, guys, this Bagley Balsa Lure is about to make its debut on the channel. Straight out the MTB Pro box. Never thrown it, don't know how deep it dives, but I think it's a decent color for this stained water, so let's see what happens. We are just gonna go with the flow. Feels like it's got some good action, a decent wobble. I don't know how deep it's diving. Oh, I just got bumped. Oh my god, I hit something. Dude. I'm liking this already. I must have some dirt on here. It's swimming to the left. No. Oh, goodness. It's about to be on, y'all. I'm going to hit this one again. This is insane. Sam just caught a tank. Holy cow. Wait till you see this fish. Oh yeah. <sighs> Let me see this thing. Oh my god. What are you thinking? First impressions? I don't know. Over seven. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I always try to guess low. <laughs> try to guess low. Seven and three quarters, y'all. Crazy. Insane. <laughs> and uh, what were you using? What was that on? Just white chatterbait with uh, Rage Tail Swimmer. And I caught my four and a half on a, a Shad chatterbait as well earlier. So similar, but he's using something a little bit different for the trailer. Check this out. Killing it, man. Wow, three eighths ounce. I would say it's a shorter trailer too, three and a half inch swim trailer. Doesn't look like anything crazy, dude, but that big old seven, we'll call it closing in on eight pounder. Just smashed it close to the bank. Got me hyped up after a long time, no bites. So let me get this thing back in the water. Ooh, hoodie's coming off after that one. I forgot I had long sleeves on under that. <laughs> I was feeling good. That was a big one, wasn't it? Uh, not, not that big. Not, not a seven. <laughs> oh. This is the shortest, almost six pounder ever caught. This thing is. <laughs> that thing is. It is so short. Fat. Yeah, that was insane, man. Five and three quarter pounder right there. He keeps pulling in some massive fish out of this little pond right here, dudes. Okie dokie, y'all. We made a little move. We're back a little further in the creek as we walk down, trying to spot at the end of this thing. Oh. Whoops. 
Yeah, I think it's gonna have to get ripped. Oh boy. What the hell? That'll do. All right, guys. Wrapping up today's vid, man. We had a blast out here. A little windy, but uh, we pulled through, man. The chatterbaits kicked butt. So it was all about the shad chatterbait today. I lost my one I had the confidence in pretty early on, and that was a bummer. But you know, we still made it happen with the secondary natural colored swim bait. I got lost and then, three. yeah, Sam got. What'd you get? I think I lost three chatterbaits. That's what I was saying. Three. Okay, so yeah, we also we lost a couple lures apiece. <sighs> but all in all, fantastic day, man. Seven and three quarter pounder reeled in by your boy right here, and a five plus. I got a four and a half. We both got a. You he 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 probably got ten crappie or something. <laughs> I feel like he was up there. I reeled in one crappie myself. That was my first fish of the day, and uh, you'll probably see us at this pond again in one of these videos so give us a thumbs up for all those big fat girls hit that and bell we'll... for notifications oh don't forget the bell yeah yeah <laughs> otherwise you ain't even gonna know about the next video man peace out <gasps>